Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome into another mighty video. My name is Marcelo, and you already know that I am mighty. I am the mighty, and I am as mighty as it gets. I know, another crazy day here in the markets, another crazy day with a lot of volatility in which I was able to come out ahead and capitalize on this momentum. Um, anybody out there that's new, my name is Marcelo, and I am a full time day trader. I specialize here in scalping the small cap market. You are now inside my ThinkOrSwim broker. This is the broker that use, I use to buy and sell stocks. Um, and as you can see from that number right there, this is how much money I was able to make today. Over $5,000 in just two hours of work. Um, life is crazy and I'm definitely very grateful. I'm definitely very grateful. Um, you know, today, today was another day that, that I was in the zone. I was trading the range strategy, which is something I'm going to talk a little bit, a little bit about here. And, you know, bigger share size, taking in 10 cents at a time. And just like that, in a couple of trades in a couple of hours, I was able to build up this nice green day. I also have a, a smaller green trade on Lightspeed. Again, another broker, another broker that I use um, right there, 300 bucks in that account. Um, so, you know, five, almost $5,500 on the day, which is insane. It is insane. And believe me that I know that it's insane. Um, but but you know what can i do this is a performance job and the better you do the, the, the more you earn so you know i'm definitely going to be grateful for it and take it off the table all right i'm going to be locking it in with that said let's do a quick recap and and let's talk about the range strategy let's talk about the range strategy so the first thing i need you to do is to hit that like button that like a button a like button please I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to do these recaps, um, you know, and it also encourages me to t to show you guys some live trading right, guys. So please, and it, it also is free. So come on, leave a like, leave a like if you enjoy the content. Um, with that said, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick recap here and and talk about the the range strategy. So what is trading the range? Well, trading the range is that type of strategy that applies whenever you identify a channel whenever you identify that a stock is trading within a range and it's just going like this kind of like ping ponging within a range it could be a good strategy to implement right and what is that strategy is buying the dips and selling as it bounces and again you got to remember that trading is not an exact science and usually this range is going to take place within zones rather than at exact numbers um, but the idea of what i did today was every time a stock that i understood that was range bound that was had a lot of range and, and it was like stock within a range every time i saw a flush every time i saw a red candle flushing every time i saw a quick dip every time i saw the level two bids fall out i was just buying the dip knowing and understanding that the dips weren't getting bought up right and then knowing that I was doing the range strategy, I was not holding for the bigger move. I was not holding for the high day break. I was not holding for the first candle to make a new high. I was not holding for the curl. I was not holding for any of that. It was just buy the dip, sell the moment it bounces and the moment it gives me a bounce because I know that this is this, this is within a range, right? So just 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 as likely as the, as the dips are, are to get bought up, just as likely, that the curl won't go up, won't continue higher because we are training in a range, right? We're bouncing around. So flush, jump in the dip. It would give a, it would create a nice bottoming, bottoming tail wick. I would sell another flush. I would buy, it would create a nice bottoming tail wick. I would sell. And, you know, I was doing that with bigger share size. Let's say I was trading with 4,000 shares, you know, 4,000 shares on this stock. You very easily could get 10 cents. Um, you know, and 10 cents of profits on 4,000 shares is $400. You only need a couple of those to be up thousands of dollars in a day, right? So this is the range I'm talking about. As you can see this stock, the first thing you can notice is that it has a lot of topping tails and a lot of bottoming tails. Topping tail, 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 topping tail. Uh, what is a topping tail? A topping tail, you know, we go in depth about how to read candlesticks in my program it is the first link down below if you want to learn more of how i trade and learn my strategies but what essentially topping tail is it is formed by a green candle that is enabled to continue to push higher so a green candle is going up 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 
to the point that it, found, it finds so much resistance, whether that is a big resistance level on the daily chart, intraday level of resistance, a big seller in the ask, whatever it is, is, it is unable to continue up higher and the price is slammed down. So the stock, the counter is forming, climbing, 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 and then out of nowhere, the, the selling imbalance is higher and the stock just, you know, kind of like gets pushed down. It draws the high, which is the high of the wicks, but then the stock receives so much selling pressure that it creates that bottoming wick. The exact same thing was was happening in in, in the opposite. Bottom and tail, 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 bottom, bottom and tail, bottom and tail, and bottom and tail. One of the craziest bear traps I've ever seen. Um, so so the opposite was also true, right? Whenever the stock would be pushed down, whenever it would start flushing, it got to a point that it would find so much buying, whether that is big bids support vwap whatever it is it would find so much support that the moment it started bouncing it just really strongly bounced creating a bottoming wick and it was just doing that all morning right so bottoming wick long sell the pop bottoming wick when i saw the bottoming wick i would be like okay long sell the pop bottoming wick long sell the pop bottoming wick long sell the pop um you know and this is not a strategy that you should implement like every day on any stock you have to recognize by reading at the level two by maybe letting the, the first two pullbacks pan out and understand if this is if this is going to be one of those stocks that is going to be bouncing within a range right and then you start buying the dips and the pop and dips and the pop ideally if you're trading a very a very strong stock whenever you catch a nice entry at the dip you don't want to sell for 10 cents as the as as the stock bounces you want to hold it and sell for the high of day breakout right but um you know we finally got some of that action here but it wasn't able to hold up that well um so anyways make like three thousand dollars trading trading the range right here and then once we finally started pulling away i made other other two thousand dollars just um trading the mmu edges right bear trap first one minute pullback high of day breakout three bar play the breakout through the pre-market highs this was a nice one right pre-market highs was 481 market has was 481 the moment we broke 481 we went up to a high of five dollars right 20 cents and then i got aggressive here for the break of five um you know this actually was a nice unrealized winner i was holding i, I think like 2700 shares at 496 or something kind of like accumulating for that breakout through five we get the breakout through five I don't sell because we only go to 505 and I was thinking maybe we maybe we can go crazy here and go to 510, 515. Um, anyways, I don't sell and this thing immediately reverse. I ended up selling for a losing trade, uh, but you know, it was actually a loser, I think. But you know, you know, some trades don't work out. Um, so, so that was that. Um, that was that, my biggest winner, you know, the bulk of my profits is on this sticker. I have another $20 winner on ANS, AS, and S. This one was funny. Uh, it was hitting my halt scanners. By the way, if you're looking for scanners, the scanners that I use are called Momo Pro. If you go to the my description, you're going to see a link of what Momo Pro is. And this is the scanners I use every day to trade, right? This is scanners I use every day to trade to find, to see how the overall markets are doing, to read the news to find popular stocks, to, to, to see which are the leading gainers. Like for example, um, Vine is right here, up 34%. Um, CJJD, another stock that I traded, um, up 73% today. And you know, we usually like trading the leading gappers, the leading gainers, um, because those are going to be the stocks that have the highest volume. Whenever stocks have high volume, they're gonna have more volatility, more volatility equals opportunity, right? So we like trading the stocks with, with the biggest gains. Um, so anyways, that was that. I got a small loser on Lunar. Lunar was a parabolic stock that went nuts a couple of days ago. Um, so I thought we could see a continuation move. Lunar. Lunar. A continuation move today. But it was very choppy. It was very choppy. And again, this one you can say that it was also trading inside a range. Right? Look at this. Bottom in week, bounce. Bottom in week, bounce. It couldn't curl up though. So it's slam back down, bottom and wig bounce. Slam back down, bottom and wig bounce. So it's just trading this range. Um, and it's trading in that range until it's no longer trading in that range. Like for example, here, when it broke and flushed down 
to this level, it lost that range and it just started fading. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so it just started fading. So now let's take a look at what you guys are saying. I appreciate you guys tuning in live. Um, if you can leave a like, I would really appreciate it. Um, good morning, Prajan. Good morning, my friend. I should put on sunglasses. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, bro. You already know. You already know. You already know. Yep. It is that time. It is that time, Prajan. You know it. Yeah, for, for now. For now on. I'm going to be doing recaps with, with the sunglasses. Okay. Because I deserve the sunglasses. I've been trading like a maniac. I've been in the zone. I've been moving around share size and I've been connecting on my setup. So thanks for the reminder. I totally forgot about that. Uh, why don't you trade live on YouTube? Well, <clears throat> uh, a couple of things. Um, as you can as you can probably know, I have a trading program. I have a trading course. So I like preserving my live trading for members. For MMU members, if you want to see my live trading every day, um, you can definitely join. Uh, we will be very happy to have you there. We still have a very small community, so you would have access to the inner circle. You can you can talk with like-minded individuals like yourself. You're going to have access to me and RT to ask any type of questions you have, to hang out. Um, of, course, of course, access to the course, the light trading and all that. So that's number one. Uh, and number two is because Relentless Trader, which is my business partner, already live streams, right? He already live streams. So I don't want to be, you know, we don't want to be competing for for views or anything like that so so that's so you know if you if you want a good live stream for live trading in the morning relentless trader is the way to go um that definitely has a delay around 10 15 second delay but that's just how youtube works we do stream ultra low latency in our in our mmu chat room though so um yeah let's see what's up with momo yep does momo pro have a high day momentum scanner they're actually working on it um, so the good news is that me and RT are very close with the owner of Momo Pro. Um, you probably know we are sponsored by them. Um, and we are literally forcing him to tweak the Momo scan, the, the high day momentum scanner so that it, so that it is only for small cap momentum. Right now there is one, but it is not as fine tuned. You're going to get large caps making new highs. You're going to get small caps making new highs. So, you know, we are, we are working with him to dial it in right now. Um, what was his YouTube channel? His YouTube channel is Relentless Trader. But of you, Teacher Mighty, have you set a new daily goal? Not really, man. I'm just taking it day by day. Um, definitely goals are going to be set whenever the markets cool, cool down a little bit. <clears throat> and then I see if, I, if I'm able to keep bigger numbers even in the slower markets. I'm amazed you've made money in Vine. He was trading such a tight range before the main breakout. <clears throat> the range strategy, my man. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at some light trading archives before I let you guys go. Um, of course, this full archive is going to be up for MMU members. Um, I was talking to 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 Lucas today, one of one of our MMU members that is already doing very well on his live account. He was saying how the live archives are probably the most useful tool we offer in MMU. So I'm going to I'm going to do my part and show you guys some of it. Open with media. Let's take a look at this live speed trade. So I am long 7000 shares CJJD again. Pull up my Pull up my Momentum Momo Pro scanners. CJJD is the leading gap at the time. The market opens and I honestly wanted to see this one mini pullback resolve to the upside. So I, you know, I punch in 7,000 shares on this one mini candle here. Um, you know, for a quick dip off of support of 135. And then it looks like I sold half from 133 to 137. I sold more at 38. Now I'm only holding 1,700 shares and, and I sell the rest there at 30, 39. Um, quick $300 gain. In my eyes, in my eyes, it should have went lower. 
I started seeing all that selling pressure on the tape, so I bailed out the rest for break even. And then good that I did that because I started fading. Let's see, let's see, let's see one of those trades that I've been talking about. Those range, those range type trades. All right, so let's take a look at this. So at this point, I've identified that this stock is trading in a range, right? So I'm going to implement the range bound strategy, selling the dips, buying the dips, selling the pops, buying the dips, selling the pops, buying the dips, selling the pops, buying the dips. What are we having here? What does this look like? Another dip, right? Another dip like this one, like this one, like this one, like this one. Okay. So I jump in 4,000 shares at $4. And just like that, look at this. This is bouncing like there's no tomorrow, right? This is what I'm saying. 4,000 shares, 10 cents, 15 cents. 500 bucks, 500 bucks, 500 bucks here, 500 bucks there, 500 bucks, 500 bucks, oh, 5k. <laughs> that's, that's all I was doing today, right? So long 4,000 shares at 404, 500 bucks, 500 bucks. And, you know, I start selling, right? I'm off like 14 cents, 12 cents, 18 cents, 20 cents, 500 bucks, 500 bucks, 500 bucks. And you know, that's all that I did today. 500 bucks, 500 bucks. Um, you know, the, the range strategy, buying the dips, selling the pops, with bigger share size. Um, and that was the bulk of the day, right? That was the bulk of the day. So if you guys want to see the full two hour session of all the trades I took, not only one trade, um, be sure to check out that link, the first link down in the description. Right? And probably, hopefully, no, actually, I won't say that. Um, 100 bucks. Anyways, that's going to do it for the recap, fellas. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for John for, for reminding me of the of the shades. Um, you know, I'm definitely gonna sign out wearing them. So it's been a good day. Um, actually, my the best day of the year um, for me. Um, so I'm gonna lock it in. So it's been the mighty. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'm gonna head out. Five hundred bucks. Okay, it's been the mighty. Take it easy, fellas. Stay safe, stay green, peace.